do you aspire to fly business class flight at least once in your lifetime just to taste the experience? Then in this video, I will help you find out the true cost of flying a business class flight with Singapore Airlines. Let's use a very specific example for a flight to Tokyo next year, specifically Sin to Narida Airport, 25th May to 1st June 2024. And why I use this specific date is that it is a very far ahead booking. Advanced booking usually have cheaper rates and most likely you will get the cheapest business class flight. As you can see from the cash rate, it's around $3,400 seen to Narida, 25th May to 1st June, two ways. And mind you, this is also during the school holidays, I believe. So for those parents or teachers who are considering to take some vacation days to Tokyo next year during the long extended holidays, then this may be a good date to travel on. But let's take a look at the miles ticket award redemption, right? How much does it cost? So if you go over to redeem your miles with your Chris Flyer account, you will note that it takes around 104,000 air miles plus around $100 of taxes for airports and whatever fees. So if you want to calculate the value of miles used in this redemption, you will take $3,400 minus $100 divided by 104,000 miles, which gives you a cents per mile value of 3.2 CPM. Now I'm going to give you a too long didn't read answer. It's going to be much easier to redeem a business class awards flights through Chris Flyer miles rather than earning cash back from credit cards and then buying the cash rate. Because if you see, to earn $3,400 worth of cash back, we will take $3,400 divided by 5% and that will be $68,000 worth of spend to just earn enough cash back and buy the ticket outright. How about miles calculation then? If we just take 104,000 air miles, divide by 4 miles per dollar, that would just be $26,000 worth of spend. Of course, you have to add in $100 worth of airport taxes. But you see, $26,000 worth of spend compared to $68,000 worth of spend. That's a very huge difference. In fact, that is like 60% more you need to spend on your cashback credit card compared to miles. And some of you may ask, how do you know how much miles is needed to fly to a particular destination? Then you can look at the Singapore Chris Flyer Award chart where you see that one way from Singapore to Japan or Korea would need 52,000 worth of air miles to travel one way on the savers rate. And if you need help with all these air miles calculation and destination redemptions, come over to our 7,000 members telegram group at Honey Money SG to ask your questions there and the experts will help guide you. You see, if I just want to fly one way business class flight, I will need 52,000 air miles and on a 4 mile per dollar rewards card, I will need to spend 52,000 divided by 4 which is $13,000. Now you have to ask yourself, how long do you need to spend $13,000? Some of you, it can be a year. Some of you, it can be just a month. But realistically speaking, over 12 months will be a good average. So if you take 13,000 divided by 12 months, there will be around $1,100 per month. And the thing is, you cannot just use one single credit card because most of these four month per dollar cards max out at around $1,000. And I could list a few examples like City Rewards, HSBC Revolution, DBS Women's World Card, OCBC Titanium Rewards, UOB Preferred Platinum and Visa Signature. And sometimes it's much more than $1,100 because you have to remember that the way they award miles on credit card is that they will round down the transaction value. For some, it's rounded down to the nearest $1 and for others, it may be rounded down to the nearest $5. So like a $4.90 transaction will not earn you miles because you did not even hit the $5 block. But don't forget that there are faster way to earn miles. And one good example is using Chris Plus because if you use Chris Plus, especially on your gastronomy series recently, you earn 12 miles per dollar on selected restaurants, which I did on Wulu Wulu Steakhouse. But there will be a very limited time offer, which I don't think is applicable to every month that you can spend on. But if you want an easier way to earn rewards, definitely check out the sponsor of today. See what I told you? This company finally woke up. Because now, when you sign up with Webu Singapore, you can win a total of 6 to 40 free shares from companies like Tesla, Apple, Microsoft or Google. 
and each share is worth from three to one thousand US dollars. So now, in order to qualify, you need to deposit at least one hundred dollars and hold the deposit for thirty days without any withdrawals. Don't worry, there are no trade requirements this time. But one new feature from Webu is now you can do the regular savings plan, where you can finally automate your investments and use your time wisely on other interesting stuff. You will also get one lucky draw ticket where you can win eight hundred and eighty eight dollars weekly. And even get a chance to drive away with a Tesla Model 3 as the grand prize lucky draw winner. So wait no more, use my referral link down below or scan a QR code right here to get your Webu account today. Now I only talk about the spending cost and the award ticket cost. What about some other costs that you have not considered? Firstly, there will be this conversion fee when you want to redeem your bank points to Chris Flyer Awards. That will be around $27 per transfer. So what I will advise is that you accumulate all your miles and you just transfer one time before your expiry. The other cost is definitely the airport taxes and various surcharges that may be charged on top of your award ticket like the $100 that I mentioned in the earlier part of this video. Now the next cost you may not have considered is the flight availability. Whether savers rate is available or you have to be on the wait list. If not, you have to go on the advantage rates, which is significantly more expensive in award redemption miles compared to a savers rate. And then the final hidden cost is if you're just redeeming it for one person, that is simple enough. But what if you want to redeem it for a family? How do you ensure that your other family members have enough miles and at the same time, the flight itself have enough award ticket flights? Especially for business class, right? It is so limited availability. Then I was just talking about one-way business class for 52k. If you want to do a return trip, that's like 2x the amount needed, right? Did I forget to mention that there is also an expiry on the Singapore Chris Flyer miles? Because once it is credited into your Chris Flyer account, you have 36 months to utilize it or you will be forfeited. Then that brings the question, should I consider to use credit cards which points do not expire so that I could track it out as long as I want and accumulate all the miles so that I can then one shot transfer all of them to Chris Flyer when I want to use it. Now such examples of credit cards with points that do not expire will be City Premier Miles, DBS LDT and Standard Chartered Journey card. So how it works for these cards is that you will usually earn 1.2 miles per dollar but the points do not expire. Unlike the 4 mile per dollar cards where they usually expire within 1 year, 2 years or even 3 years, right? But you will realize that the spending criteria is much more stringent. If you use our example of 52,000 air miles divided by 1.2, that is $43,333 of spent just for you to earn 52,000 air miles and redeem that business class flight. 43.3,000 versus 13,000. That's like a 3.3x the amount of effort just to spend enough and earn enough miles to redeem the flight. And let's say if you are a low spender who spend around $500 per month, 43.3,000 divided by $500, I don't even know how many months it takes uh, just to, for you to redeem that first business class flight. And by the time you can meet this level of spend, most likely it will not just cost 52000 maybe cost 60000 already. So if you are a low spender and you want to go on business class flight, Maybe you want to look at 4 miles per dollar, right? Let's take a look at $500 per month multiplied by 4 miles per dollar. You will get 2,000 miles per month. And if you multiply that by 12 every year, you will earn 24,000 miles, which is still not too bad because by the time you reach your third year of spending, there is enough miles for you to redeem a one-way business class flight. And let's say you are a mid-tier spender. You spend around $1,000 per month. You see, you will double that and you will earn 48,000 miles per year, which is very close to that 52k already. And for those of you who worry about expiry of points and the miles, then I can assure you that once you have transferred the points to Chris Fire, you will have another 36 months of shelf life for you to utilize the miles. And I will even use the shortest expiry, which is DBS Women's World Card, where your DBS points will expire within 12 months. So 12 months and another 36 months when you transfer them to Chris Fire, that is 12 plus 36 months equals to 48 months you have four years for you to utilize the reward is it enough for you so the key to mouse redemption is that you don't hoard them as long as you are able to earn and redeem them for your next award flight don't store them like it's a cash asset like you want to reach 1 million miles by 35 no 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 that's not a good goal to have 1 million cash by 35 is a good goal. 1 million miles by 35 is not. And the main reason is because miles are not like cash. Miles will devalue over time, whereby cash will give you interest. So don't hoard miles, okay? 
use and redeem them when it's available. And if you really want to find out what is the best way to utilize your mouse, definitely check out my previous video on Air Mouse right here.